How you guys doing? My name is Savannah Kirkland, and I told you guys in a previous video that someone donated some containers for my business. And you guys know that with business, you need more than just bottles. You need money. You need money to buy packaging, get your LLC, get your license, and, you know, buy some ingredients. So... Um, once I got my stimulus check, I just jumped right on it, and I already had everything written out what I was going to purchase. I purchased some boxes from Uline, and I wanted to show you guys the boxes that I did purchase. And I purchased different sizes because I wasn't sure which size box I wanted for my kids. I have different kids, so I purchased different sizes. So I got this size right here and this size right here so I feel like I will end up purchasing again both of these boxes the brown boxes I won't be purchasing again but um I just got it because I was I wasn't sure what I wanted so I'm just going to show you guys what I got of course I will be using them until they all gone but I won't be purchasing them again so this particular box right here, it cost me $35 for 50 boxes. And this size here cost me $43 for 50 boxes. And this is the smallest box. It's very tiny. And I paid... Um, I paid six dollars for twenty-five. This is how it looks. And of course I can have some items to fit in here, so I will definitely be utilizing these boxes. This size is a little bigger than the other one. And I paid $6 for 25. I'm going to show you how it looks folded up. So it looks like this. A nice size, you guys. I think I would like this size, but um, I would like it in white. And this is the next brown box size that I got. It's pretty. It's not that big. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how it looks folded up. So um, it's a nice size, but I think. I don't think I need this in this color. So, yeah. Of course, I would use it, but, yeah. I won't be ordering again. I wanted to show you guys how you fold up the white boxes. It's not difficult at all. And you bring these two up right here bring this up bring this up and you hold it and you bring this up and then you fold it you fold it under and it has two holes down here and you just push that part inside there and you just repeat the steps and then you push it down inside there. And then you bend the top and you just spray it down like this. So I already I fold I already folded most of my boxes and I left it open like this. 
because I don't want to try to open the box and damage it before I even send the package out. So I just leave it open a little bit for it to be easily open. Not that it's real difficult. I just want it to be careful. All right, you guys. Another item I got from Uteline is the calendar with the purchase. I thought it was so cute, you guys. I can always look at that. <laughs> I can always use uh, another calendar. Look at these beautiful dogs. I just bought a dog, you guys. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And next, I bought some items from Five Below. I bought a dry erase board. And it is so cute, you guys. It is 12 by 16. And where I only have a little, I have a huge window and I have a little bit of wall on the side. So this fits perfectly. So to drop my little notes down and reminders on. So very cute. And it's $5 at Five Below. I also got these baskets at Five Below. They are beautiful. Let me see. Yeah. This is like, I just bought this to help me organize my products. You guys, I purchased this drawer organizer. It's a pretty good size. And I'm going to put my tops to my products in here. They So I bought um, six of these. Next, I bought a measuring spoon set, and, and it was $0.88. Cents. This beats Dollar Tree, and I bought some spoons, and they were $0.88, cents and it's four in a pack. I also bought a sharp blade because I print out, I design and print and cut out all my labels. I just purchased the um, paper, and I cut them out myself. Okay, another item I got from Walmart. Is my printer and I got a office jet 8022 and it's a 4N1 and it prints, copy, scan and fax. And it also saves on ink since I design and print out all of my branding. This will be absolutely great because it's saved on ink. And next, I have smooth card stock, and I make my thank you cards with this paper. Also at Uline, I purchased some organza bags and they're the little sheer little baggies that you just put the product in and squeeze. Isn't that pretty? And I also got these um, packages from Amazon and I just was just putting my labels in. I put, I'm selling some lip gloss you guys, so I just put a little lip gloss in here. I'm also selling jewelry. Just put it in here. Put my label and my tape on it. Yeah, that'd be cute. So my colors is gonna be white and pink. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this um, hot pink, but I think it's very pretty. I'm I'm a pink girl, so any kind of pink is I love it. Last but not least, I have. A U-line heat gun, and this is to shrink the um, the shrinking wrap paper that you put on your products before melting them off. I put well after I make my product, I put shrink wrap on them, so it could be nice, tight, and fresh when um, the items arrive to the customers. And I love this gun, you guys. I always want it. I already opened it, but. Just put it back in the box for you guys. And it's a nice size. I paid $60 for this. And I think it's well worth it. And 
you don't want to use your personal hairbrush for this guys because it's just unsanitary so this is an awesome professional gun to sh um because it depends on what you have and what size you have what kind of um shrink wrap you have in size that you gotta go by different um degrees and it's just not recommended for your personal blow dryer and i like to keep my stuff separate my personal my business separate anyway so yes you guys i've been wanting this for a long time and i love it i mean it'd be perfect if it was pink but yeah i hope you guys enjoy my video and as my other items come in i'm going to be sharing it with you guys and also i want to share the process all the step of the ways to stay tuned so like subscribe and share if you know anyone that started a business or if you're starting a business yourself and if you have any questions please ask me below if you want to know how to do labels business cards all that good stuff just let me know and if you have any advice let's share with each other we can grow together and encourage each other along the way and you guys six months ago I was homeless so I went from homeless to business owner so I'm officially a, a business owner I have my LLC and my license and I'm very excited so I want to share my process to encourage someone else that they can do this too. Peace, you guys.